Rodan, don't tell me you came to rescue me like some kind of knight in shining armor. Hi everybody, how you doing? It's you, it's me, I'm Grant, and you're on my team. So, yesterday we beat chapter 9. Today, uh, I don't have the strength to deal with the horse fuckery on this one. I really don't. I'm sorry, I swore within the first minute, I don't care. I hate this chapter with a burning passion. I really do. I do. I do. There's nothing remotely fun about this chapter. So we're gonna be Princess Peach. Yay! And we're just gonna do Queen Tings. Which time cannot be activated in this one? That's not why this is not fun. This chapter's just not fun because this is technically the chapter that introduces Sloth. But on Infinite Climax, this chapter is just undiluted. Cunt fun. Cunt fun. Okay, new word. This is just undiluted country. Yo, Blood Now? I. I cannot stress to you guys just how much I loathe this chapter with my entire being. Midas' testament. Those who ring this bell get money. That's basically it. So, Twin Greeds. I don't care. Like, I could sit here, I could whine to you for like an hour about why I hate this chapter. I'm going to try and keep the negativity to a minimum, but when it's this chapter in particular, it is really hard to stay positive. No Cody! Yeah! Destroy him. Oh girl. Dreadful. That's how I feel about this. Bam! Yay. Oh, and I'm gonna preface this now by saying, yeah, sure, easy and normal, I'll try and get every single phase, but Infinite Climax, I just wanna get through this as fast as possible, so I won't be going for any extra phases at all, not even Muspel Hines. I'm literally just gonna go point A to point B on Infinite Climax, I don't care. not looking forward to this one. I haven't been looking forward to this one. I don't want to do this one. Yo, Blood now. Yay. Ooh. managed to parry that. Wow. I wanted the broken piece of heart. I wanted the broken heart piece, whatever. Pure that no. Hey, Phantasmarania. Yeah, I hate spiders. Fire spider, so I'm gonna use ice against it. Why? Because I can. I 
can't throw it about the old room. Whip. Bastard. Cunt. Twat. Shit. Yay, platinum against the spooder. The spooder. Yeah, I hate spiders. Oh my god, there were this gargantuan spider other night in my mum's bedroom. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, it was all horrible. Right, okay, so I don't know about you guys, right, but in my particular bedroom, right, where I sleep, right, in the corner of my room, obviously in my bed, you know, because, you know, I got a bed, like, just like you. Oh my god, I'm human too. What? Uh, there's, like, a vent kind of great thing above my pillows. Not like directly above them, but like up the wall, like near the ceiling, right? Okay. And when I woke up one particular morning, this is going back, I think like one, maybe a week and a half to two weeks ago, roughly. Girl, I wake up and there are these gangly, huge legs creeping out of the vent. And I'm thinking, oh my God, no. <laughs> You the rest of the day passing with me keeping a very, 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 very watchful eye on this brain. Right? Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing appears, nothing comes out of it, nothing. Right? My mom goes and has a bath, right? And she's gone straight into a bedroom. Go, gone and grabbed fresh towels, right? Gone and had a bath. She come back out. She turned the bedroom light on. And there, above the bedroom window, is this absolute behemoth of an arachnid. Right, okay, so, um, the size comparisons. Uh,. Yeah, there's nothing that I can really say that can, like, accurately describe it. Uh, okay. Stretched its legs- right, okay, so it had its legs stretched out, right? It was bigger than a Nintendo 2DS, closed. This is England, we don't have spiders that big, okay? What?! Well, we're not supposed to have spiders that big anyway. So that's there. She turns around and she goes, Grant, you remember that, what you were looking for this morning, that spider? I goes, yeah. In fact, no, she don't, no, she didn't even say that. She turned around and she says, Grant. I goes, yeah. She goes, come here. I goes, I don't like sound of that. I think it sounds like you're talking about someone that's got eight legs. <laughs> She goes, yeah, is this what you were looking for? And as soon as I walked into her, well, I did, you know, I didn't even walk into her. I were on landing, I were on landing, and I'm looking into a room, and I just kind of duck so that I can see underneath the bedroom light up to, like, above the window. Right, so me in a weird angle. Hey, cry. And as soon as I see it, I'm just like, Jesus Christ, no! Oh my God. She don't like big spiders. I detest spiders in general. I'm literally there, just quaking. I scre I kid you not. Ladies and germs, I screeched. I'm like, do you want me to get over? She's like, yes. I ran downstairs. I grabbed the Hoover. Americans, that is a vacuum cleaner. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Right. We call it a Hoover, okay. You guys call it a vacuum or a vacuum cleaner. Anyways. And she's there. She, I barricade myself in my bedroom. She gets the spider. She then dunks it down the toilet and flushes it a clean four times. Platinum! 
four times afterward. I'm not even, oh my God. It was horrible. I, I'd had a bath of my own just before my mom had a bath. So I was nice and clean and fresh. I was covered in sweat after that ordeal. It is an arachnophobe, y'all can relate. It's an ordeal when we have to see a spider. Y'all can relate on a personal level on that one. But me, I'm already a sweaty bitch, right? But that's because hyperhidrosis. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I sweat too much. I sweat to a point where I can become dangerously dehydrated. Yeah, sure, so this is get to know Grant Hour. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, slamming, right, I had to run a towel over my back again, I had to run face wipes over my face, I'm not even kidding, it was ludicrous, yay, So here we are, this fucker. The less said, the better. If I have nothing nice to say, I shouldn't be saying anything. Says the guy, last episode, but in this episode, spends a majority of it shit talking this chapter. I'm sorry, but it is. Get whipped. Yay. Yo, Platinum. That never happens. Don't ever expect that from me again. So here's another ugly ass slot. No, unstand, block, disgusting. No thanks. Oh my god, there's more than one. Can we not? Right, I'm just gonna take care of this bitch. So or try to. Ah! Fucker. I tried to witch time and parry it at the same time. No thanks for that senior little energy wave. The epitome of bullshit. Whip him. Dodge. Yoink. Nice try. Yanilu Hydra! Yes! Sometimes you just have to sigh and get excess stress out your system. Sloth stresses me out. It's the most ironically named demon in this game. I hate it! But who can actually say they like Sloth? It's just obnoxious. Je Nem -ba. This music does wonders for my anxiety. I don't even have anxiety. Or at least not that I know of. I hate this chapter. Hate this chapter with a burning passion. I really do. And we have to make this march on easy and normal mode. All the way down. Oh, I hate this section. I hate this section. Yep. Nice. I don't care if it's cheese, I'm doing it. 
Nice try. You girl. Bastard shooting me from across there. He's shooting. You have to listen for the fucking audio cues. Everything is just all over the place in this chapter. If you're not being mowed down by one of these fuckers, another one is shooting you from across the fucking battlefield. Battlefield. Arena that the phase takes place in. But still, you guys, you know what I mean. But like, pain, right? Pain and pride, right? They're fine. It's just sloth that makes this chapter unfun. It's just sloth that I have a problem with. It's just not a fun demon to fight. Is that all you've got? Finally. Okay. See, we're doing fine. But yeah, tell me how your day going. How how your day going? How's your day going? Mine's all right, and we're all right until I start playing this chapter. I've gotten a fair bit done. I've got things edited. I've got things rendered. Things are wrapping up nicely. I despise this chapter, though. But it needs doing for the sake of the Let's Play. But that's the thing, though. We can criticise things we love about the things we love. And we can also turn around and we can say, yeah, I've heard enough for it. Like, I've heard enough negativity and hatred about it. And that's perfectly fine. Me, personally, I adore this game. But I will forever talk shit about Chapter 10. I will forever talk shit about Chapter 10. It's just unfun. God, I can't wait for Bayonetta 3. Okay. Final phase. Right. I'll go easy on you guys. So let's have some fun. I'm just starting off with like a nice... Thanks, Rodan. Just, you know, kill stealing and shit. Do it again, do it again. We'll get another well. <laughs> I love Rodan. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I love it. Smash it! See ya! Double pain. Well, that should be it, right? Yeah, that's it. Right, okay, breathe easy. Unskippable cutscene. Unskippable cutscene. There she is. Hold up. You're not seriously thinking of getting between a man and his next payday. Get ready for that. Bayonetta, don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that one intact. I love Rodan. Bad boy. Pure platinum. So, finally. We must be like, what, 20 minutes in? Oh 
normal mode. Normal! Yay! Normal! Oh, great. Slot on harder difficulty. Yo. Yay! Kill. <sighs> I'm gonna need y'all to stop. Okay, let's make some stuff. And by make, I mean equip. I'm just kind of focusing and just like off in my own little world there. Right, let's talk about Pokemon. Not Pokemon Go, let's talk about the anime, the Sun and Moon anime. Ash finally won a league! Yay! I don't even care if you got spoiled on that, I'm sorry. But like, I'm not sorry because like this has been a long time coming. This has been a long time coming. Finally. Honestly, I'm happy for him. I'm happy. I am. I'm happy for Ash. I think he deserved it. I do, I think he deserved it. I think it's sure it's not his best team that he's ever had. But like remember that for Kanto and Johto, he went into the league with Pokemon that weren't fully evolved, you know? So really you can't argue you can't turn around and say that his Alola team were crap. Because he had a he had a mythical for once. Ooh! Shit! He actually had a steel type for once. Oh shit! Can I get this piece now? Nah. Nope. Oh well, we'll try and get it on infinite climax, I promise. Even if it costs me a pure platinum. Uh. Aya! Ugly bitch. Ow. Fucker. Je n'aime pas. I don't like you. Which is weird though. I say I don't like it, but it's actually my favorite demon summon in Bayonetta 1. I hate spiders, but I love this one. In the first game. In the second game, this is a bitch. Just a bitch. So 
Okay. Ooh, you thought. Ooh, we can do this. Ew, spawn of evil. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, um, an ugly bitch. Do you know, I'm sorry, I don't know what to talk about today. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, see, I don't, I don't want to sit there and I don't want to bitch about chapter 10, just for being chapter 10. But at the same time, uh, I just, I don't know what other conversation topics to start with, like to open up with for, you know, you and me. I'm sorry, I'm, I've just, I've never been the best at making conversation. Oh my lord, die. Thank you. That's just me in a nutshell. I've just never been the conversation starter. I'll go, hi, you all right? Dodge. Uh-uh. Get him. Expire. Ex. Ooh. I don't care. I will wrap that up quick. Bam. Okay, right. <sighs> Coming up to my most detestable part. My most detestable part. Yeah. But first, we got a detour. <laughs> Making it easy. Wait. You've been naughty. You've been naughty.
Taking it easy. Bam. Nice. This bitch! He was literally on the ground. How were my attacks not connecting? I don't care. I don't care that my combo was absolute undiluted horseshit. I also just want this phase over and done with. I hate malicious. Everything about this chapter I despise. It's like in Persona 5 when they don't give Haru screen time that she deserves and instead focus on Morgana and Ryuji. Ryuji puts up with so much shit from Morgana, but the second Ryuji claps back after six months of dealing with just personal attacks, Morgana dips out like a little bit. The second Morgana gets called out on shit. You know, what does that say about Morgana's character? It says nothing apart from Morgana is a pussy. Which makes sense, because Morgana's a cat. Ha ha ha. Bam! Nice. Bam! making sure that I've not missed any phases. Before we take on probably one of the harder phases. Let's be real, it's not exactly easy. So that's gone. Next. I always make it a point to try and get rid of the malicious because they just rile everything else up and that's just not fun. So imagine this, but on Infinite Climax. Yeah, I don't want to, so we're not doing it. 
Call me a chicken shit. I don't give a fuck. Let's finish up normal mode. Or, you know, we can do this. As soon as I forgot because I'm a dumb bitch. I really hate these bitches. So close. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we're done. Nearly done. Finally. God, it's a right trek to this last bit. Right. I'll go easy on you guys. So let's have some fun. Yay. This is always a good thing. I always like this phase. This is probably my favourite phase in this entire level, and it's just because Rodan carries. He does! I'm so happy that we're nearly done with this. I'm so happy that we're nearly done with this. So 
is my target by the looks of it. Again, unskippable cutscene. So many things are just wrong with this chapter. A man One, sloth. Two, this cutscene. Why can I not skip it? Chill, Don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that Every, and I've tried multiple times, every single other cutscene that leads into a results screen like this, I can skip. But you know what? No, chapter 10, gotta be an exception. So, the depths. Normal. Done. Infinite Climax. Right, okay. Beeline for the end. 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 But pick up the piece of heart thing. I don't care. I'm not even fighting that phase. I'm skipping straight through it. Down. Thank you. Dodge it. We do not care for the bull. Right, let me pick it up, 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 let me pick it up. It's one of the last pieces I've got to get. Yay! Oh, we nailed it. You've been naughty. You've been naughty. I love it. I love it. On the hardest difficulty, that's the one that we pick up the piece of heart in. Okay. Spider is gross. I don't care. Is that all you've got? No, it's not. He's a bitch. Hey. Now we just fast forward. <laughs> so, uh, this is new and also rude. Honestly, say that this is their favorite chapter in this entire game on this difficulty. Because if that's you, I'm gonna refer you to a shrink. Are you kidding me? I'm amazed I actually blocked that. I saw the red pack. I dodged. I'm happy. I don't sound it, but I am. <laughs> Bitch. I had less than a second to react to that. Die. Yay. Next. 
Nice try. There's two of them. Okay. Because that's absolutely fair. One's not hard enough, apparently. Let's throw in two. And what the hell move is that? I can take that head on because I've got the yellow lollipop. I'm going to call it the kid laser because it turns you into a kid! Nearly done. There we go. I don't care. Right, now we've just got the sloth bit. Yikes. And then we can call it wraps once we've done the Rodan bit. Honestly, the Rodan thing on Infinite Climax is just funny. It's just hilarious. It really is though, that's the thing. You'll see, you'll see what I mean. Well, I find it funny anyways. slots. Two slots. Two slots. Two slots. Two slots. Two slots. Two slots. So close. Two slots. Two slots. Two slots. Yes, I'm using the red hot shot because there are two slots. Finish him. Then there was one slot. <sighs> that. 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 I don't care that it's a stone medal. I do not care. I do not care that that's a stone medal. That phase right there is the single reason I despise this chapter in its entirety. That phase right there. Did I mention that there were two slots? Because I think I did. Right, time for fun times. Right, I'll go easy on you guys. So let's have some fun. And go. Get 
Damn, Rodan's really working up a sweat. You know what you're gonna have to do when you work someone up like an appetite? You're gonna have to eat. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat after this. But you know what? You know what's even more important than eating? Drinking. Drink water. Go drink the water. Drink the good juice. Come on. My god. Bang. Sweet. Give me all the health. Nice. Gone. I love that. Rodan just wipes out two of them there. Right. Two pride. Gone. Thank you. Rodan is basically a win button. You're making it easy. We're here. And so is my target by the looks of it. John, there she is. Hold up. You're not seriously thinking of getting between a man and his next payday. Mm. Chill, Bayonetta. Don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that one intact. stone i'm so happy with this what i don't care right so guys uh if you have enjoyed today's ugh, episode of bayonetta 2 then by all means feel free blah, feel free to press like subscribe we have other content here and here so please check it out in the meantime stay safe and i will catch you in the next episode okay take care and bye